From driverless cars to new data software, innovation promises to help us tackle some of our biggest challenges in transport, including making better use of capacity on Britain's congested roads and railways. Here in Cambridgeshire, Mole Solutions have come up with what they think is a way to take the pressure off our busy roads by packing freight into capsules and shooting it along underground pipes across the country. Mole's demonstrator, which for now is above ground, shows how the capsules would be propelled along the tracks. Although it seems rudimentary, Mole's founders have ambitious plans. They are in talks with Northampton Council to set up a system where the tracks would be encased within underground pipelines. So the idea uh, is to use uh, mole pipelines, in other words, take freight off the roads, take them through a pipeline into city centres or between cities uh, on trunk roads. We do it with oil. Imagine if uh, all the oil that we move around the country was moved above ground. It isn't. It's in pipes. It's economic to run um, and it, it's independent of the weather. It's safe and secure. Um, it runs with uh, smart tracks with linear motors with very few moving parts and the capsules are loaded and unloaded at their starting point and their destination. Mole Solutions is one of a number of new companies being supported by the Transport Systems Catapult, a government-funded centre based in Milton Keynes supporting innovation in transport. And data is fueling much of that innovation. Transport can be affected by factors including the weather, accidents and speed restrictions. Companies are working to pull in data from an increasingly varied number of sources, which means that we have a far greater insight into how transport networks run. That makes planning easier, cuts delays and means that travellers have options for a simpler and smoother journey. Zipabout is a startup that is using data from sources such as Twitter and weather forecasts to build up a picture of the transport sector that will inform travellers where there is disruption and even predict where delays will happen. Train operating companies want to use that insight to run services more effectively. If you do a journey on a regular basis, you, you learn when it might work and when it might not work. You know which trains will be overcrowded. You know which road jams up at five o'clock in the evening. You can begin to find your way around your own sort of small hotspots. In its ultimate scenario, you can begin to map people around hotspots to the point that they don't exist anymore. What we're trying to do in Oxfordshire is the first test case of that. Also making use of data is EtoWorld, which transforms complex data sets into infographics. For instance, the numbers of people coming into London on New Year's Eve, or mobile phone data showing the flow of people around a city. That helps transport planners and operating companies identify trends. So we're developing a data visualisation software platform that will allow people to make sense of and, and draw conclusions from the vast amounts of data that's becoming available from a disparate array of different sources. We've also got a data set that brings together all of the open data for public transport. We provide that data directly to companies like Google Maps, which underpins all of the public transport information, disruption alerts, real-time services within their Google Maps product uh, within, the, within Great Britain. Crossrail is a near £15 billion project to build an east to west rail line across the capital. New technologies are helping with safety in its construction. Utterbury is a sensor devised by PhD student Heber Bevan that has helped with the construction of crossrail tunnels at some of London's busiest stations, including Moorgate and Liverpool Street. The device, which weighs about as much as two one-pound coins, can be used to detect movements in the ground. So Atterbury is a very small intelligent wireless sensor uh, that actually it used now in, 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 um, in the industrial for instructions to help monitoring any deformation that happens during constructions. And because it's very small and light, it, it can be very safely installed by one person and that is, will minimise the time that is being spent in very um, dangerous sites. Heber's sensor is an example of innovation within transport in the UK, but the sector faces a skills gap. 3,000 jobs in data science must be filled by 2017. If the UK wants to compete in a global market, it will need to act soon to train future employees. 
what we need is to train graduates so that they're familiar with using and understanding the information in, the, in these data sources and getting on to do a better job in their profession using that data. Now what that comes down to is delivering the same amount of transport at lower cost and lower intrusion to the environment, uh, less CO2, less energy consumption. It's a completely new area for engineers to be working in, in this context. Securing the funding to grow will be critical for these new transport startups. But for those that succeed, they hold the potential to help us optimise the use of our transport networks and even revolutionise how we travel. Jane Wilde, Financial Times, London.